And good morning, welcome back again to yet another bow review, another bow from Indonesia. This time it's again from AJ Archery. He was so kind because we did the Patreon bow as we know it. It's this one here, his Tatar bow. You can check the video in the description, the short video on YouTube, the long video on Patreon. And he said, I built your bow for you. And that's this one. So first of all, you always get this nice leaf, which you can use as an arrow quiver pouch thing. Uh, then you can throw the string on the floor, which makes totally sense. It's whole. Look at this pretty bow. Color is a matter of taste, but the shape of this bow is a really interesting. Look at this handle shape here. Color, painting, I have to say, wow. Interesting, looks like you can use this bow both handed. So here we have AJ Archery, 32 pounds at 28. It's very interesting, beautiful. So this is the no name bow from AJ Archery. I can give you now the few details he wrote to me. It's a fiberglass bending. It's a length strung of 41 inches, unstrung 45 inches. The string is 41 inches, 32 pounds, max draw of 29. Um, we have a six month warranty. The price is 125 US dollar. And look at this. Looks almost better than every Korean bow out there. Don't want to offend any Korean bow builders now. The weight of the bow is 310 grams, so I don't have to do that. Let's check quickly before we start measuring how it looks compared to the, to the one you know, to the one one of my patrons will get. So, this is the Tatar and this is the no name, a complete different beast. Little more flex in the handle, but then overall not the stiff sear. So we have only this small part at the end, way less aggressive, way more gentle, but on the other side, way smaller, less weight. Will be interesting how this bow will perform and the handle is a little different. Feels very good and you have two arrow passes here out of suede leather. And painting wise, pretty. So I put this one away, only that you see what these guys in Indonesia are doing. It's incredible. Next time I will pack it and one of you patrons will get this bow. We are soon done with our question row. And we had the participation rate very high. So what do we get? From knock to knock alongside the belly. This is my way of measuring the bow length. And we have here this interesting shaped handle, which adds to the length. We have 47 and a half from knock to knock. And we have a max of 29, which gives you a certain F value, which I will write now. And the arrow pass is on the thinnest place, 23 millimeters. And this bow looks gorgeous. So now, dun, dun, dun. the strings are very well made. I really do like what they do down there. I have the string looks the same. Most probably the bow is the same. So let's see how stringing works with this one. Because of the flex in the handle. Hm, easy. Only make sure that the end of the loops are above the sears, that there's no twisting going on when you string the bow. Oh, that was easy. Look at this. The no-name bow. Lightweight, 310 grams. Pretty. So we have very enforced tips. Makes sense. Brace side, five and three quarter. Kind of standard down there. Pretty. Let's see what it does. Straight. Straight. Yeah, a little flexible, but in, the, oh, in this direction, totally stiff. So this one doesn't bother me too much here. That means simply there's a nice flex in the handle and, and the limbs, but in this direction, nothing. So it's fine. <laughs> Looks cool. Huh?
nice 29 yes nice so here you start feeling it getting up getting up getting up but then up to 29 no problem it's a draw curve so far nice we need the draw curve progress okay the 29 inch arrow nothing nothing and now, now it gets a little stiff but still you know this last inch is still easy doable nice we have a bit but not you feel it in the handle not in the limb a bit so you feel a little vibration in the limb but this arrow is 10 grain so it's fine but there's otherwise a little bit is going on so and of course looks like it's a nice small bow for horseback this handle here easy this handle i think is really good for everything easy peasy then it's easy so but we should do this way because we can 32 pounds 320 grain arrows handle feels good nice I guess 165 foot per second. Oh, the shot. That bow, wow. If you look at this out of the box, Katra comes a little harder, but it's no problem. I need to show you. I'll show you. I hope you see it. No, I don't see it. Now you maybe see it. Huh? See it down there. Nice group. Let's see. The row curve. Nice. That's 28. 33. So I have 33 pounds. So let's see what it does at 29. It's 29. 35.36. Interesting. That's a beautiful bow. It's mine. So 28, I guess we are already way beyond the string angle because the sear angle was very... So we have already look at 90 degree string angle at 28. I guess not even at 24 we will manage. No. So string angle is somewhere 20 inches or something. But this bow looks great. Look at these nice harmonious curves from here. A little tight and then it swings out here in a nice gentle curve. The shape of this bow is really, really nice. I like it. And performance wise, you saw it, 10 grain arrows. Set feels almost like a Korean bow. Should do now 31 inches or 32 inches. It would be perfect. But draw experience wise, so smooth. Look at this. I love this bow. <laughs> See that? Oh. Broken tip. No problem. String is very thick. Holy moly! It's not the fastest, but it's a beauty to shoot. 154. 160. 152. 156, 157, so 155, 160 foot per second. Someone who owns a purple dress already said that she might like this bow. Let me see. I like this bow too. Look first of all of 
adjusted of the shape. Look, 29 inches. Cool. It's not the fastest by any means. Kitty, no worries, I don't shoot you. I shoot the other hippie. So, draw spec, 29, no problem. Look, these are the 29 inches. And the livers is stable. That's a nice beginner's bow. And even for a bit advanced one like me, fun to shoot. Draws nice, throws arrows nice away. This one is pretty. And look, look at the details. We have here this small sears with the reinforcement. And we have this incredible paint shop here. That's insane. See this back end belly with this paint shop. Really nice. Then we have this interesting shaped handle here. There's a whipping around and it's painted too. Then you have the handle. Nice leather here, sweet, perfectly made. The curves, nice. The string is flawless. Wow. That's a piece of art. So pretty, huh? And even here, so they see, you see the seam but there's no glue spilling out or something. So you see the seam running through. It's made very neat. So here it's fine. This was now me shooting the first arrows. For the rest, look at this pretty bow. Wow. This is something. And draw experience is really nice. So from there and you feel it a little, you feel it a little. So in the beginning this and then it goes like this, but it's not nothing up to 29. This bow does the job and is sturdy, so even string twist or something doesn't bother this bow at all. Very well made. So string knocks. The knocks are a bit hard on the string. Nice, really nice. Every distance this bow is fun to shoot. String twist works very well. String twist and down cutter. Ooh. Downside cutter. Yep, works well too. Does everything this bow. Wow. I get asked many times, I want to start with a horse bow or with thumb release, but I don't want to spend a fortune. If you want something really pretty and working and forgiving and fun, $125 entry-level drug. You point there and the arrows go there. So this bow does not have a learning curve. This bow directly delivers. Wow. Does everything you want. Feels Great in the hand, you have control, it's not wiggly. Well, now we have to do what we always do, we come to an end. I can say if you're looking for an entry level bow, not too expensive, fiberglass, so you won't have problems with delamination or whatever with a laminated bow in humid and hot areas. Something which looks a little different than you usually Tatar or Ottoman style bows has and I think I saw some paintings or something which they have a bow like this 
handle gets a little more weight through this, doesn't bend at all, so you don't feel a lot in the handle going on. You only have a little vibration, but it's minor. And then you can have this craftsmanship here, as this, this paint job. Even even the tips, look at this, even the tips are spray painted all around with this. Don't know how you call this spray paint job, but that's outstanding. So packaging, what did I get? A bow, a string and a sleeve. And he promised for international customers he will include now always a second string. So just in case one string is breaking, you have another one, continue shooting. Then you order a new one from him. But so far there's only bow, sleeve and string, which means three points. In the future he will get left four points. Oh wait, then we have a documentation. It gives it, gives it three points exactly. So bow, string, sleeve and documentation, three points. If you put the second string in, it's four points. Then the handling, it's hard to string, not straight, okay to string, easy to string. Where's the bow is straight and it's easy to string, so it's surprisingly easy to string. That's why fully five points. Build quality, I mean, rough, decent, you can tell there is nothing. This bow is flawless. Five, almost six. The basic feel, like wiggly, handle small, big. This bow is sturdy, forgiving, so you feel directly good with this bow. It's not like, yeah, insecure, you don't know what is going on. This bow is in your hand and is part of you. Handle is good for me, a little too small, but I don't see it as a negative thing, it's normal because of my big hands, but you have here this nice, you have control. So this bow feels good, whatever, I mean, you could even shoot different styles with this. The handle does everything, is very balanced, feels good in your hand. The bow is not wiggly at all, five points. Draw experience, from rough to smooth and no stacking. Stacking, this bow draws smooth, like a Korean bow. We have working recurves. Only a little bit of sear left, which does not work. Makes it very smooth. Up to 29 inches without stacking. After 29 you feel it. It gets a little stiff, but until then this bow delivers perfectly. Five. And shooting experience from big hand shock, long vibration, no hand shock, no vibration. You have a little, but this is so minor, you don't even, it's me. So that's why I would give it because there's a little four and a half points, but overall the experience is overwhelmingly nice. That's why I give you five points. So we have a total of 28. And price value, $125 for a beautiful, well-performing bow like this. I mean, I wish this bow would do now 31 inches at least, or 32 inches max draw. Would be a competitor for all these Korean bow styles out there, which have working recurves. And then for the price, what you get? Craftsmanship, performance, it's not the fastest, but I guess you can go down to eight grain or something. And then you have 170, 100, maybe 180 foot per second, more likely 170. But this is what a fiberglass bow is doing. So this is, you have physical limitations, you can't overcome them. It's a beautiful bow for the price, $125, I don't know, $30 shipping or something normally, and a bit customs, five points. So my friend, Supri, Tang, thank you very much for sending this bow to me in the box. I really appreciate it. I like this bow a lot. And I think once Sonia is at 32 pounds, I guess you might see this bow more often in her hands. Maybe take it to the next photo shoot when she has a pink dress on again. Color is now not mine, but you know, the way how it's made. It's really beautiful. So, thank you Supri for sending the boat to me. Thank you to all my viewers that they subscribe and that they share my videos and that they leave a comment always down there. I like this and I always really try to catch up and read every comment. Thank you very much for watching and I catch you in the next one. Thank you.